Namaste or assalamu alaikum dosto. We are going to go into this factory right here. I know it looks like a mansion, but it's actually a factory once we get inside. And I'm going to show you all the different types of musical instruments they are manufacturing in there. And we'll keep it really kind of, I'm just going to show you absolutely everything and then the finished products as well. So watch the entire vlog. What do you make here, man? We make musical instruments. Acha, and which ones? Which musical instruments? We make historical instruments, uh, including harps, lutes, uh, oats, Arabic oats, bazookis, Irish bazookis, badrans, lutes, bagpipes. Wow. There are lots of G guitars, too. pianos. Yeah, we make guitars. Oh my God! So this guy, is, they make everything here in this factory. We're gonna go and give a little tour and, and see what's happening in every single room. We'll start from uh, where we cut, uh, start cutting the wood. Okay. This is the wood workshop. And you can just see all the wood is just being cut here. This is where we cut the logs and uh, Wow, so much wood, yeah. man. This is the production start of the Ah, the production starts out here. Yeah. And right now, yeah. These pieces were cut into shape, and now they are under seasoning process. Air is flowing through the wood, so it can dry up. Wonderful. All this wood is under season They These guys are almost regularly cutting the wood. Yes. Their job is cutting and... Uh, making the shapes. The yeah, making the shapes. And what are the types of wood that you use here? Yeah, many types. Many types of wood. Right, uh, like low rose wood, walnut, mulberry, yeah. mahogany. Some woods are many from types. Pakistan, some we import. It all just depends on the instrument, I yeah. guess, yeah. what type of wood you're going to use. Yeah. It totally depends on what the customer what they want to wear. Ah, okay. Have a look over here. And just look at the floor. It's all just wood chipping. You can see on top he's drawn where he's going to cut. There's little pencil markings on there. So he knows where he's cutting for this instrument. Oh, 
Wilson. Cool. Okay, so after the wood is cut, yeah. you're gonna clean it. Yeah, clean it from top and bottom and make it uh, actual size. Acha. It's cool, bro. The, sorry, they are planing machines and sanding machines. Acha, let's go have a look at the sanding machines. This is a sanding machine to make the wood very, uh, what do you call, smooth. Smooth and the size, correct size. Smooth and the correct size, that's right. And what's he making These here? Badron drums, Irish Badron. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's just sending them, uh, giving it a good finish. Yeah. The drums. Yeah. The traditional Irish drum, uh, wow. known as ba Badron, Irish Badron. Wow, Irish drum, crazy. Yeah. Are you guys getting this? Like, it's just incredible watching all these guys in action working, creating drums for Ireland, for example. Who would have thought they're making drums for Ireland here in Sialco? Awesome. So after the seasoning process, it go for planing and the, then production starts. Okay. So he's like drawing the. He's. Yeah. Yeah, so people are going to cut to his specification, whatever he's drawing. Yeah. I get it, I see. You're going to cut it into all these smaller pieces like you can see in this warehouse here. Shane does a very rough job, man. Yeah. And then he comes along and just makes it look beautiful. Like, yeah. there's so much work that's gone into this. Like, yeah, yeah I can see. And, uh, oh, wow, he's doing an incredible job. Really lovely work. Here, these are manual lathes. Ah, so manual lathes. Instruments like bagpipes. But Ron tippers and stuff like that, round things are made here. See, he'll do it with the hand. Wow, look at that. Right. 
right now he is making bodran sticks he is making these sticks yeah, yeah these sticks what are these for these are for the bodran drums all the drums oh. for the back for holding them wow cool so back pipes and uh, things like that are made here acha <laughs> Our steel workshop, we make accessories for the instruments here. Achha. All the workers here are working on different accessories. Main work on, on, on instruments is wooden. Yes. But we need steel parts, so we manufacture those parts. Ah, steel parts for instruments in here. Yeah. Yeah. This is all for workers making on, steel parts. Yeah, some workers are on holiday, so ah, uh, usually they are working here. Yeah, and because of COVID, you know, there uh, we won't allow any worker who are having fever and yeah. Sure. These are manual lathe machines. Manual lathe. Oh, machines. manual lathe. Yep. Yeah. We've got CNC too. Uh, we are converting our all our tasks uh, to capitalism. Yes. To CNC machines and uh -huh. things like that from uh -huh. manual work. Okay. So it's easier for us. Yeah. I see. What's in here? Yeah, I'll show you. These are all our CNC milling machines. Oh, CNC milling, CNC milling machines. Yeah. We do regular tasks like this. And any designing on the half and routing it up. Half. Let me show you a uh, one. We are taking these here. Oh, these. These faces. Yeah. They will go on the headstock of guitar. On the headstock of a guitar. Yeah. This is like a machine carving. The machines yeah. are in the carving. Awesome, bro. This is a headstock of guitar. Wow. This is a... So we do this stuff here. We do carving and other stuff. Right now, we, uh, we don't have any job here. But it, so usually we do. Yeah, when the work Not comes, the work. It'll, yeah. all the machines will be working. Now, I was talking about the lathe machine. We've got manual lathe. These are CNC lathe. Ah, CNC so, lathe. Yeah. It's cutting the wood automatically and making these parts. These are end pins for lutes and guitars. Oh. And other instruments. Yeah. For the strap. For the guitar strap. Yeah. The guitar. It works automatically. Just the worker has to just put the wood. How many people do Cool. Awesome.
Awesome. We have to make it clean. We got the handles for the uh, for music stand. Whoa, we got a secret room here. This is the secret room. I don't know what's in here. We got laser machines you had. We got the wood Oh, I can smell the wood burning, yeah. Yeah, in shape. Different shape we want from laser. It's easier that way. Cutting them manually yeah. takes a lot of time. Here, all the loot sound boards, guitar sound boards are prepared here. Oh, these are the boards for the guitars. They yeah. go in the front. Now these are uh, hammered and simmered, you know, hammered and simmered. And simmered. Yeah. Yeah. Their hammers are being made here. Oh. So okay. This is a part of hammer. We for will for a piano up. or? A hammer. Hammer to simmer. I'll show you the instrument. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. Um, yeah. What do we call yeah. that? Wait, stick. Wait, wait. Yeah. Drumstick. Drumstick. So they are cutting it here. Wow. Up here? All the production is done in yeah. these balls. What are the These drilling holes in uh, these are uh, lyre harps. Yes. He's drilling holes for the tuning pins for Achha. stringing the instrument. Anji. Here, the flutes are, uh, these are Irish flutes. They are assembled here. How? Oh, these are Irish flutes. Yeah. So a guy assembled the <laughs> flute. <laughs> he will put the cork. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And then fix it. And nice. So there won't be any. Wow. Look at this workshop. <coughs> oh, here we make guitar. Oh wow, I'm making a yeah. guitar. Yeah, these are broke guitar. I'll show you the finished instruments. Without you. These are not ready yet, so he's manufacturing these pieces. Body. Wow. Very lightweight. Awesome. <laughs> this is our uh, where we string the instrument when they are ready. When they are finished, we string the instrument here. Each uh, one string. Play Tuje Tuje Deka Toya Jana Sanam. <laughs> lovely, lovely. He's just stringing them here. These are pieces of wood joined together and you feel the weight. Oh, how do you get this so light? It's, it's super are, light, guys. Uh, this is 2 mm staff. Oh, These that's why. Are two millimeter, very it's lovely, light. the quality. The quality is really lovely. He's stringing these instruments down here. And these are the tuning pins that we saw earlier. He's putting them into the, the instrument. And he's just grinding them down a bit or sanding them down a bit so they fit. Oh, yeah. So orchestral stands here they're making. Different types. And then we come to the harps. This, this is the hammer, you know? The, it's played with the hammers like that. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Lovely. These are hard. These were the sides which were uh, being carved downstairs. Oh, yeah, we so saw this earlier. Yeah. Glass? 
Love me, boss. No. And just hops galore. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Uh, we'll show you the Wow. Then it will be completed. Then uh, we'll go to finishing the process. Mm -hmm. Lovely. These are Liverpool based their bone woods. These are very uh, historical instruments and a very expensive instruments. The bowls of their. That's they fun. are uh, approximately this much tall. Really? Yeah, they have this height. Amazing. We, uh, and he's also working on the Arabic, uh, uh, Turkish shoes. These are Turkish, these are Turkish shoes. Achha. Yeah, we also manufacture Arabic and Turkish instruments. And this is how slim that last one was, you yeah. can see, the mil two millimeters or so. Very light and all these are joined together. Hanji. And just see how big this, this room is, the craft people. These are the drums again, yeah, right? Yeah, he's preparing the shells on the rotor machine. He's making them round from so here. Ah. So the shell looks good. Nice. So th that is the machine where he wrote the ah. So this is how they they make the two mm stab shapes. He's bending it with oh, the Oh, very gently. Yeah, yeah. and uh, make, it will give it a shape of the instrument. So it will make the instruments bowl. So this is how he's bending the wood with a lot of heat. Oh, look at that, it's bent. And then These he's are the ones already bent. So, see? Look at He'll fit it. It will make a... He'll super glue them. It will create a bowl. Lovely. Lightweight one. I'll show you there, but these are all the fine piece. Same process. Hmm. They are making the loop bowls. Okay. They are by turning it. They bend the They are bending for the heat. Hanji. Hey, you got it. Nice. Ah, uh, putting the tuning forks into the drum back there. Great. Let's go see how it all gets put together at the end now.
go into the top of the factory now. Oh, beautiful, got the sun around the roof. They are finishing all the instruments. Well, this is like spray area. Half a paint and all. Yeah. So a lot of sanding and just getting everything ready. Painting as well. Most of our instruments painting are over here. naturally finished. Natural wood finishes, people like those. Yeah, you just use some of this lacquer or varnish, yeah, lacquer, we call it. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. See the hawks, they're getting ready. Yeah, they're just drying, drying out in the sun here yeah. in Sialkot. Why do you have kabutas on the roof? <laughs> we have many kabutas, around 4,000 kabutas. Why? They are for competition. Oh, okay, they're for competition. Lovely. Inshallah. <laughs> Look, <laughs> hope my camera's standing up. You guys can't see this, but my camera is totally covered in sawdust, paint, and everything. This is like sanding area where they used to sand the instrument. Achha. They do the sanding here and then uh, they put the sealer and lacquer on the other side. And the kabutas just chilling. They're not doing any work. You make them work, man. <laughs> we make them fly. <laughs> you make them fly. These are white. Yeah. I haven't seen many. These are flying pigeons, specially trained. Achha. So who loves pigeons in your family? Acha, your dad loves the pigeons. He really loves pigeons, man. Fantastic. From the childhood. Acha. These are all white. He likes the white ones, eh? No, no, they are like different breeds. Oh, but different we breeds. Can't it. They ah. know how they do. Yeah. Wow, incredible! I didn't expect to find kabutar up here. But look, and just a quick little view out to see Alcott. Someone's growing rice on their roof. <laughs> what the hell? Look! The, the people in Sialkot will make anything and grow anything as long as they can yeah, sell it. It's leaking. It's leakage. Wow. Yeah. That's a rooftop garden in Pakistan. And then you have the nut cellar down here. And Someone's Kate, someone's field out here where they're growing, I think. I'm not sure what that crop is. Someone tell me in the comments. We're just going down now to see the finished products. Wow. I just love being around craftsmen and watching these people produce what they're producing. I'm sure it's making a lot of you guys feel very proud seeing your craftsmen in action here and exporting products to the world. It makes me feel good seeing these guys and seeing the amazing work that they're doing. Now we're here in the office and we have some finished products. So this is a Baroque guitar. Acha. 3D cut Whoa, just have a look in 3D, there. 3D rosette, this one's made with uh, skin. Quite a lot of intricacy. Yeah, a lot of work. Oh, bass, these, play us a song. Yeah, these are small pieces of wood. They were joined together. This is exquisite work. Lovely. How much would this cost overseas, do you think? Yes. They are selling it for 5,000, 6,000 euros. But what? Yeah. No. Yeah, look here. Different no. Different are selling, yeah. With this rose, they are selling this. like 9,000 euros. You, you, you give me one of these, I'm going to Europe to sell it. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> I gotta fly straight to Europe yeah, with this, this stuff, man. We sell it cheap, but uh, we sell it at low prices, so that's why we get good demand. So that's but what you uh, regular made. luthiers send, uh, sell it for uh, 6,000, uh, uh, 7,000. We sell it for uh, 